All right, let me show you some of the other integration we've been working on here. So you'll notice I have this hue lights button and that means it was able to successfully use the custom hue lights library we made for this purpose which is a good sign. Uh, let's turn off that so it's a little quicker. So now if we go to webhook settings you'll notice it's a lot more stuff. We have a light client which I didn't even know I didn't even remember I had added that but then we have all the options these are the default options you can change them if you know the command it's just set webhook pause play resume stop and then whatever you want the command to be I recommend doing it something like this which is my hue is the shortcut for the hue integration light client is whatever light client is actively playing when light effects is on Fade Bry 200, that's what the action it's going to do using the hue and the value it's going to go to. Right, makes sense. Straightforward. Let's turn that off. Alright, so let's add a light client. We're going to add the light client is going to be game PC and it's going to control desk lights. Alright, there you go. That's how easy it is to add a light plant. Alright, and so here's the lights. You can do on, off, set color. You can do it instant or fade. Control groups if you have groups built. That's how you switch back and forth is between lights and groups instant and fade color straightforward action straightforward the way it works is you pick the action you want to do say the new desk light on new desk lights on new desk lights now red the desk lights are now red the desk lights are now blue that's how that works So, now another thing to know is when you first come here, it's obviously not going to have all these lights and groups. That's what this get lights. They just got all the light details from your bridge. Get groups. It just got all the group details from your bridge. That's how that works. You hit that, populates the lights and the groups so that you can easily make use of the other actions. So that's the hue integration and it's a two-part action there's the hue lights controls and then you also have the webhook light effects all right so you can turn that on and off you can see what happens on pause play stop and resume web light client and light group or light is going to react in this way so that's how that works. It's all built into TBN Plex to be uh, as easy as it can be for you. Anyway, there you go. Thanks for watching.